Author Journey series. I hope you're having an awesome weekend. I hope you're staying warm. The weather is finally warming up here this weekend here in Florida. I feel a little chilly as I'm been here, but thankfully I'm not having to use the heater finally. But, hmm, what is that doing there? Anyways, back to my author vlog. <laughs> I've returned to the world of longevity with Ian Arrays my longtime friend um, definitely enjoying finishing up the first draft for book four revolution in the series while i'm also catching up on my reading this is part of my library yes quite proud of it and it's growing more and more I'm excited anyways these are the first two books in the long Debbie series you might have seen them before if you stopped by previously Book One Revelation and Book Two Independence. It's following the series is following the life story of Ian Arrays, who was a wolf born, born in 1109 AD. Follows his story up through history, actually. Uh, book Two Independence is set in the Scottish War for Independence. Book 3 is published, but it's only in ebook format, sadly, for right now. I'm holding off on republishing that in hardcover format. If you see it in hardcover, do not order that copy, please, as I, I'm noting in the description below also. Do not order any hard copies of uh, Wondering Book 3 in the Longevity series, because there was a mistake by the formatter, and it has yet to be resolved. Um, so don't order anything. If you want to continue the series, um, order the ebook, or you will have to wait for a little while. I'm sorry, forgive me, but it'll soon be coming out, and I'll announce it on here and my blog also and my social network. So on that note, book four, Revolution, is set. Guess. Yep, you're right. In the American Independence. Well. Technically, the first half of the book takes place before the American War for Independence. Um, in fact, part of it takes place during the French and Indian War, leading up to the Declaration of Independence. Right now, I am in the scene where Ian, along with three of his human children, are meeting up with John Hancock and Samuel Adams on the 18th of April, 1775. And if you know your history, you know it comes the next morning. On April 19th, 1775, when the first shot was heard around the world, uh, when the Minutemen stood on Lexington Green, Massachusetts, and stood against the face of tyranny. A year later, and a couple months, the move for secession from the United Kingdom to the British Empire was passed by the Congress, and we have the document the Declaration of Independence. But it all started with these men, the Minutemen. And guess what? Ian the Rays, a character, though he is wolfborn, not Minutemen, played a part in that. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so I'm definitely excited on seeing where that story is going. Looking forward to four more books after this one. It should be published within a couple of months, hopefully. Well. I think on that note, I'm going to sign off for today. Yes, it's pretty short, I know. Uh, but a little bit longer. I've had some shorter episodes, you know that, if you've been following. Uh, if you could, stop by my website, sign up for my Friday newsletter. Sometimes I share some goodies with that, and you can check out my books. I've got it in the tab menu. So... Uh, you have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow.